Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about come parlare velocemente. È una, una cosa molto importante, okay? Um, it's a trick that will surely help you. So listen up. So guys, we already spoke about assimilation, okay? And there are other examples of assimilation that we will do in other videos, okay? But in this video, we're going to talk about another trick, okay, called elision, elision, okay? And elision often happens, okay, when we have a t, t, and a d, d sound, okay? If a word ends in t, and uh, the next word begins with d, or vice versa, vice versa, okay? We have something called elision, okay? Where you get rid of the first sound, sort of, and you only keep the second sound, okay? Il primo suono non lo dici, soltanto il secondo suono. So, let me give you an example, okay? What happened to her? What happened to her? Okay. Notice. Prima cosa. Non è happened. Okay. No. Questa non è la pronuncia. Okay. Happened. Happened. Okay. Ma quando I happened to. Okay. Non è happened to. Questo, se devi dire happened to, non è veloce per niente. Non puoi parlare velocemente così. Okay. You have to say what happened to her what happened to her okay questo t t il schwa schwa sound okay uh, non è to anche ci sono tanti italiani che dicono today ma non è today è today inglese in inghilterra e anche in america okay today today perché il schwa abbiamo il okay um the strong to and the and the weak to okay so for example um who were you talking to who were you talking to okay that's the strong to okay but we also have what happened to her what happened to her okay that's the weak weak to okay and we use the schwa uh uh sound okay because we want to hit the her the emphasis is on the her what happened to her? Okay. But happened to. Notice, we don't say the D. We don't say the D. We take the D, get rid of it. Okay. Okay. So what happened to her? What happened to her? Let's do some examples together. The same thing happened to the second brother and third brother, right on down to the seventh. Okay, the same thing happened to the the same thing happened to the second brother and the third brother right on down to the seventh. Repeat. Very good. Fantastic. Okay. Here's another one. As it is, we are in danger of being charged with rioting because of what happened today. Because of what happened today. So you don't say the first d, d, right? The first sound, il primo suono, non lo, di, non, non lo dici, okay? Get rid of it, okay? Um, so what happened today? What happened today? Okay? So repeat. Very good. Fantastic. Okay. Here's another one. Then Paul left the synagogue and went next door. Okay. So you don't say the t, t the first sound. Remember, il primo suono, get rid of it. So next door, next door. Okay. So then Paul left the synagogue and went next door to the house of Titius Justice, a worshiper of God. 
Repeat. Fantastic. Very good job. Okay, guys. So you see here the importance, the importance of elision, because we don't want to say happened to or uh, happened to, because we can't talk quickly like that. Yeah, so this is good for both American and um, British English. Okay, so don't worry about that. So guys, thank you so much for listening to uh, or watching whatever whatever it is you're doing. And um, please subscribe to the channel, um, Instagram, Facebook in the description to keep up to date. I like to post um, little games or little questions on Facebook, stuff like that. So please uh, check it out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. God bless. See you next time.